Let's go to smart cash, alternative cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, the first question my brother asked was, is Bitcoin effective for micropayments anymore? The, 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 because the system is decentralized, all right, but no one is really in charge. So making decisions over there becomes a headache. Bitcoin has fought more than three times. In November, we are all sitting on Tenta House. We got Bitcoin 134 again. And at the last minute, those who wanted to fork Bitcoin said, okay, enough is enough. We are not going to fork. Fork means when people in the network are dissatisfied and then they take off another chain to go and start a new currency. Because of that agreement, no one to make any decision here and there. That is the reason why you, you, you pay for something today or you transact money or send money somewhere and you pay such high fees. So, alter, alternative guys coming after Bitcoin realize that we need to innovate upon Bitcoin. So, something like where everyone in the network will be giving a voice has become the new phenomenon in cryptocurrency, in the alter coins. And the king of um, community governance is actually smart cash. Smart cash gives 80% of the funds in the ecosystem to the community members. 80% of the farm belongs to the community members. 15% goes to smart nodes and smart rewards. Then 5% go to miners. In Bitcoin, only miners are rewarded. Users are not rewarded, developers are not rewarded. So it's become a system where only miners are benefit from the ecosystem. So they can raise charges of transaction and they alone will benefit from those transactions because the transaction um, cost goes to the miners. So with community governance from market perspective, it is self-funding. They don't need to go for an ICO. ICO is also another interesting part of the whole blockchain ecosystem, and I think it's, it will be worthwhile your time to um, look into it. It's very interesting. Everyone here can go for an ICO just with your laptop and, your, and, and a website to supplement those regulations we are talking about here. Because if you are to go for IPO, ICO is just an IPO done on the blockchain. The regulations you have to go through, the those you have to satisfy the government, the proofs you have to, all these things cost a lot of money and time. So people are using the blockchain to raise money. And you can you can't be cheated in the sense that you, you issue shares. And that is your take, your token. And the token will be traded on an exchange. And everyone can verify from the blockchain whether those who issue the ICO are trying to cheat. So community governance and self-funding in smart cash has said that we, we, the system actually finds itself with the money that is coming into the system. So that 80% we have given out there is for anyone who is interested in the network. He can come in there bring his proposal, anyone, anywhere. So far as you are interested in smart cards, you can bring your proposal and then we vote on it. The voting system is said that even if you have one smart cash, one, one, at the moment, one smart cash is $1.70. I'm sure it has come to <coughs> because I look at text in the morning and today is, the markets are very rough. The cryptocurrencies are falling like that. So even if you have one smart cash, you can vote on the decision. And anywhere in the world you are, whether you have smart cash or you don't hold smart cash, you can bring a proposal and say, I want to tour the whole of Zimbabwe promoting smart cash, and I need this X amount of money, I want to pay myself this, this is my budget. And then the whole ecosystem, the community members will vote on it. And if you get more than 50%, you get the funds to go and do whatever you want to do. We have instant pay. That allows you to pay money instantly. Within a second or two, your funds are in this destination. Then you have got something called smart rewards. Cryptocurrencies, <coughs> as I said earlier on, gain their value from demand and supply. So because of that, we have come out with what we call the price stabilization mechanism. <coughs> the more people are holding their money in the ecosystem and are not selling it out, the more our price will go up. So if it, if it go up, so if you have 1,000 smarts, and you can leave it in your wallet for a month and you don't move any amount of it. 
you get a percentage of the the pen you are holding every 20 feet of the month. You are supposed to get 1,000 or more, but it has to start from 1,000. We call it smart wall, and it's our price stabilization mechanism. And we have also just introduced what we call smart nodes. The smart nodes facilitate the instant payment. So you need 10,000 smart in your wallet, and you are not supposed to move it. You need a BPS, one gig RAM, 20 memory, and a whole lot of <laughs> requirements to be able to. It's basically three simple requirements to be able to get a 10% payout. If you are not technical like me and you don't want to go through such system, there are master nodes holders around that you can pay less than five dollars for them to host your coins for you, so that you can get this ten percent here. Smart cash is functioning in a way that if we are to decide that we need to open our blocks, so that uh, transactions are going to be very fast. Like Bitcoin has taken so much time to decide whether to open their block from one MB to two MB. We just vote on it overnight. So we give a voice to the community. Everyone who can, we are taking the decentralization Satoshi Nakamoto introduced in the ecosystem. So that's a smart cash for you. We launched only in July last year. And as I speak, we are number 39 on Grand Market Camp, all the 1,400 and something. The community governance is attracting people. About four months ago, you could buy one smart, uh, 1,000 smart cash for $40. But now we need about um, <coughs> about thousand two hundred or thousand four hundred to buy one thousand smart cards to stay for smart phone. So we are growing. We are growing. We've grown about um, one hundred and one thousand eight hundred percent in four months in US dollars and fifty five hundred percent in Bitcoin within the past four months. So it is exciting and. If you are able to download the wallet, I'm going to give us some free. I mean, 10 times each to anyone who is able to download the wallet before I hear. You can just go to um, Play Store and look for Smart Cash Wallet. Or you can go on smartcash.cc, our website, and download uh, <laughs> and, and, and get a web wallet from there. And I will dish out some for free. I have about 1,000 to dish out. So. If you can download them, I'll be able to give you 10 dollars.